Welcome back to Rich Girl Roundup. As a reminder, we will take listener questions every month. I'll put out a call for questions on Instagram, so follow Money with Katie, and we will pick one that feels interesting and widely applicable. As my standard disclaimer, this is simply what would Katie do in your situation. I'm not a licensed financial professional, and this is not financial advice. This week's question is from Teresa. She says, I recently retired, March 2022. Where is the best place to park the next one to two years of living expenses while the market is all over the place? Oh, I am so sorry to hear about the timing of your retirement amidst all the craziness of this current market, but congratulations nonetheless. I also think it's worth pointing out that we really don't know how long the market's going to be crazy. It could turn around next year or take 10 years to return to normalcy. And as an aside, saying normalcy because the market spends more time up than down, but I'm also probably showing my recency bias here since most of my investing life occurred during a historic bull run. That said, my answer might be more simple than you'd think. Cash. I would probably be keeping my living expenses in cash. Now, depending on how much this is, you could consider putting 10,000 of it or 20,000 if you're married into something like I-bonds, but that will lock things up for at least a year and may not be worth the trouble. I have an episode all about this that I'll share. Same deal with CDs. If we're just talking about a year's time frame, maybe more maybe more squeeze than the juice we're going to get, right? So to me, if you already have the money in cash, this is probably the simplest and safest route for the next 1 to 2 years of living expenses. That's probably what I would do personally and just toss it in a high yield savings account if it's not there already. But if your money is in the market right now and you would be selling to get the cash out for one to two years of living expenses, that's more a bit of a gamble because sure, the market could be lower than it is right now in 18 months from now, but it's also possible that it won't be. So by selling right now and pulling out the next one to two years of living expenses all at once, you are realizing losses in some cases and locking in current prices. When we think about Bill Bankin's 4% rule research and some of the follow-up case studies by writers like Nick Majuli about optimal withdrawal strategies, we find that it's often better to sell slowly, aka dollar cost average out the way you would dollar cost average in. Rather than pulling out 24 months all at once at their current lows, Majuli's findings would suggest that nearly two thirds of the time, you would be better off selling and withdrawing in three month increments rather than in 12 or 24 month increments. This is because generally speaking, over the long term, the longer your money stays invested, the higher the chances that you will recoup losses. Of course, as Majuli points out, this is just an average. In the other one third of instances, you would have been better off pulling out an entire year at once. It's just a game of odds, but it is very difficult to time tops and bottoms. So I would consider those things when making this decision. 